Hi, yeah, good morning. So last time we discussed this, how to create this uh, server connection, right? Okay, so now we can see some Linux package installation, like how to install different packages for Linux. Okay. I think, is it clear for you? Is it visible? Fine, right? It's clear, right? Yeah, I'll proceed with this. So you can see like uh, how to install Linux packages for uh, machines for Ubuntu or Red Hat machines. You can just see here. So we go for this, uh, in Linux, we have different distributions. Uh, different, different distributions of Linux, okay? Like, uh, one is like Ubuntu, Ubuntu machines or Red Hat, okay? Some Debian machines, CentOS machines. Zen to Slackware. So we have different machines in Linux, okay? So CentOS is there. Okay. So say. So we have different flavors, right? So if you just if you see here, the major distributions are like Red Hat and uh, Divine Divine family. Okay. So what are the commands are using in Red Hat? You can use the same commands in CentOS, okay? And even in the Oracle Enterprise Linux, in the same commands. Okay. And the same thing, uh Ubuntu machines. If you go for some uh, divine package. What are the uh, packages we have in Divine? The same thing you can use in the bold machines. Okay, so I'll just uh, show this process for you. So one is Red Hat. The things you can use in uh, CentOS. Same thing you can use in CentOS. Or else you can go for Debian. You can do the same things in the bold machines, right? Like we can see like how to install these packages for this Red Hat or uh, Divine machines. Just see here. If it is Red Hat, we can install packages through RPMs. RPM. Or you can use YUM, YUM installation. Okay. And if you go for Debian machines or Ubuntu machines. You can install packages using apt or apt-get. Apt or apt-get. Okay. So I'll show this uh, Linux package installation now. Okay. Here RPM stands for Red Hat Package Manager. Okay. Let's see this process here. So first let me uh, go with the servers. I'll just go with the servers.
So let me go with some servers here. Let me connect with these two nodes. One is node one. Okay. And next one we have some node two. First, first, how to confirm this machine type? You can just see here. Cat etc os release. So if execute this command, show the current machine type. Okay, here this node one is what Ubuntu machine. Ubuntu is from Divine family, right? If you go for node two or node three, same thing. Cat etc os release. It is from what? CentOS, CentOS machine, it is from RHL, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Okay, fine. So here I want to install some packages. Okay, so we are created some two different machines. Okay, first thing like how to get the current user. If you use a command like uh, who yam i will give the current user. Okay, some citation shows. Now I want to switch to my root user, so I'll specify sudo su hyphen. I'll just switch to my root user. Here, what is sudo? Sudo is a super user. Super user do, and SU stands for switch user. Okay. So let me switch to my root user. Now, if you see who I am, hi, yes, I'm root user. It is my CentOS machine. I'll just rename this tab. The centaurs. And it is my robot machine. Fine. So now let me go with this installation process. I said, right, uh, if it is Red Hat machines or CentOS machines, can use what? RPM or M, M installation. If you go for Debian machines, can use apt or apt-get commands, okay? I'll just show this process for you. See this things. So we have different Linux distributions. Okay, we discussed this, like Red Hat, CentOS, right? So for this, we can use the two things here: RPM and M. Let us see the installation process. So if it is RPM, like Red Hat Package Manager, so first thing we have to download some packages. Okay, uh, I will use a command like wget. Then I will download the specific package. Suppose if you want to download some uh, Java package, okay, let me get it, let me download it. Suppose I said some Java 8 download, JDK 8 download, okay. Let me download some packages here. It is uh, Oracle official website, so from here you can download uh, Java. Right. So let me accept this license agreement. Okay. And let's just go with this. Uh, can you see here dot RPMs? Dot RPMs is a red package manager. Okay. You can just select this one. So let it download. I will download this dot RPM file. How to get this? Copy download link.
I'll go to my CentOS machine. So how to get it? W get. So it shows for W command not found. So if this command is not found, we have to install it, right? Let me install this command. M install W get. Okay. So which can install this? Yes, it's done. What is the command I use here? M install W get. Okay. So now let me download this Java. Now JDK pack is going to download. So which is having extension what? Dot RPM. Red hat package manager. So let it download. So once it is downloaded, you can install this package, right? I'll just show this process for you. See here, Java is, is downloaded. Actually, we need the file extension up to .rpm, right? Uh, we don't need this additional content, right? So how to rename this file? The command is like mv. Uh, we have discussed this mv is a command uh, to move this file, to rename this file, right? So let me rename this file up to .rpm. OK, so file is? Rename. We got this R dot RPM. Now I want to install this RPMs. Okay. Let us see this document. If you want to install any package, you can use this one like RPM hyphen IVH. What is one? RPM hyphen IVH. Okay. Uh, I'll just specify this. RPM hyphen IVH. The question is, what is this I? I stands for like install, and V denotes verbose. What is I here? You can install that package. Okay. V denotes what? Verbose and H hashes. Okay, install. For, I want to install my Java package, right? And V denotes as a verbose. Verbose in sense, it gives all file details. What are the files are downloading? What are the files are extracting? Show, okay. It shows all files for us. And H denotes hashes. Can you see this progress here? Hashes, okay. So that you'll get the progress through H, okay. So we can install some package with this command, IVH. If you want to update these packages, you can use this command like hyphen uvh. It is for package update. Else, if you want to remove the package, you can use hyphen e, name of the package. If it is HTTP package, just specify it. Or if it is some um, Java package, just specify Java. Okay. So it's going to uninstall that package. Okay. And if you want to check whether package is installed or not, you can use hyphen q hyphen q, rpm hyphen q, name of the package, it could be Java package or something, you can just query, query it, whether the package is installed or not. But here the limitation in this rpm is, uh, we have to download our own packages. Okay, and not only packages, even dependencies we have to download. Okay, suppose go for HTTPD, it needs some dependencies. Okay, so along with the package, we need to install, we have to download some more, dependency packages, right? So it's the main limitation in RPM. So as a user, we have to search for the package and we have to download package, okay? So to avoid this, we can use uh, another some command like m. If you go for m, m can install different packages, okay? So here we won't uh, search for any package, we can directly install it, like m install. Uh, I want to install some package, like tree package, something. So here I won't download this package like tree. Okay, I'll just specify m install the name of this package. So it will also uh, install some dependencies. Okay, so not only package, even its dependencies are going to install. Okay, 
Suppose I want to install some curl package. Curl. So curl is one command line browser. Curl is one what? Command line browser. So if you want to install this curl package, I'll use the same thing. Okay. So already installed. Fine. So like this, we can install different packages through yum. Okay. So for this machine here, I don't have any uh, Java package. I think I'll just check it. Uh, which Java? I think Java is there. Fine. So if you want to install Java, I can just use this command. Yum install Java hyphen y. What is hyphen y here? Confirmation. Yes, yes, I want to install Java. Okay. And use this command. Yum install Java hyphen y. So once Java is installed, you can just verify this version. Okay, I'll just show this process for you. So let it install. Okay. It's installed. Java hyphen hyphen version. Or Java hyphen version. It shows the Java package. So we are installed open JDK, the version 1.8. It's clear. So like this, if you use yum command, we can install different packages. See so this one, yum install tree package, yum install uh, curl package, yum install Java package. Okay. So we can install different packages through yum. Not only installation, we can uninstall it. Okay. So I'll just show this process for you. If you want to uninstall any package, I'll use yum remove package name. I said uh, curl package I want to remove. It. I said right curl is one command line browser. Okay. So let me uninstall this curl package. Can you see this? It's going to uninstall. Okay. Or else I just specify em um, remove some double ticket package. So like this when you use this em command even for install and uninstall if you want to see this installed packages you can use this some more commands like m list install okay i'll just show this process for you so what we discuss how to install packages and how to uninstall package so now we can see uh, how to check this packages like whether package is installed or not we just verify it Can you see this one? M list install. This command will show us all installed packages for us. What's the command it is? M list install will show us all installed packages for us. Can you see there are multiple packages are installed? Okay. Multiple packages are installed here. No, I want to search for a specific package. Okay. Then I will use a command yum list install grep grep for specific package. So grep for Java. Okay. I'll just search for Java here. Now I can see whether Java package installed or not. That is yum list install command which shows all packages, all installed packages. Okay. The result we can redirect to grep command. Okay. So what does grep command will do? We'll apply a filter. The program will apply a filter. Okay. So here it will search for a specific package like Java. Okay. Just Java is installed. Okay. Or else, what are the packages that are available? So I want to get it. Okay. Then I will specify yum list. So available. It shows all available packages. Okay. We have some multiple packages in our repository okay or else just specify m list all it shows all packages for us like installed packages okay and available packages it shows all packages for us see this command here how to get these things i said one is m list available or m list all okay and if you want to update your repository you can use a command m update 
how to get it? We use yum update is going to update your browser. So it's already updated, fine. So like this, we can execute this command like yum. So for Red Hat machines, how to install packages, you can use either RPM command like Red Hat package manager or else can use what? Yum, yum installation, okay. It is for uh, Red Hat. Then how about Ubuntu machines? I said right for Ubuntu machines, you can use these commands like apt or apt-ticket. What do you can use? Either apt or apt-ticket. I'll go to my Ubuntu machine. I said who am I? Who am I? Okay. Let me switch to root user. Let's just switch to root user. I said sudo su hyphen. I just switch to root user. First, let me update my packages. Earlier we had used the word yum update, right? Now I will use app to get update. What I will use here? App to get update. Okay. So fine. Packages are updated. Now let me install different packages. I said app to get install some package like. Um, Net tools package. Net tools within package. Okay. So, which can give this uh, different ports. So, let me install this package, Net tools. This is already installed. Fine. Uh, let me install one more package, like a tree package. So, you can install some different packages using apt or apt to get. Okay. Fine. So, now let me use apt command apt command so apt install some package i said a package like apache 2 i'm just installing the packages through apt command so can you see this progress here so apt command will use the progress okay of this package installation okay so you can use apt to get install open jdk7 i want to install java I'll specify open JDK 7, okay, or open JDK 6. I'll just show this process for you. I said Java hyphen version. So here we don't have Java, right? So let me install Java. Let me install Java. So app to get install package name open JDK 7 JDK hyphen. Why? So I want to install my open JDK 7 package. Okay. So I just specify this. Now it is going to install. Okay. So for a hack machines, what we are use? We are use what? Yum, yum installation, right? And for this Ubuntu machines, we are using what? Either apt or apt again. Okay. So any queries up to here? Okay, fine. So let me go with this. See here, Java installed. You can just verify it. You can verify it. Which Java? So Java is here at this path, US Urban Java. And Java hyphen version it shows the current version of Java. Okay, so we are installed OpenJDK 7, right? So it shows the same version here. Okay, so JDK 1.7 version is installed. So like this, you can use this command like app to get. And if you want to uninstall this package, you can use this command app to get remove. Okay, app to get remove is a command for install package installation. I'll show this one. App to get remove the package name. I said. Um, some tree package. The package is going to remove it. It's delete. Okay. 
or if you want to delete all files for this package I will use a command purge purge command okay so tree is not installed fine I'll just specify one more package like subtle package so like this we can just delete the packages so how delete packages so one is to remove the package you can just specify app to get remove the package name but if we go for purge what part will do is part will delete the files okay so if uninstall this package still some files are pending so you can just delete the files through purge app to get purge name of the package now if you want to delete all unused files all unused files you can use a command word app to get auto remove auto remove just delete all unused files can you see this either you can install packages or uninstall packages and delete all unused files through purge command and you can delete all unused files okay like all files like it is not for one package it is for all files okay so it's going to delete it so like this we can install different packages for both ubuntu and divine or sorry uh, ubuntu or red hat machines okay through this commands like rpm yum or app that are triggered now my requirement is to install different packages for web servers I mean the web servers and next one app servers the question is like what is web server and app server web server app server just see this process here generally web servers are used to deploy static web pages static web pages okay so what we have some uh, dot html files okay so if on deployed i'll go for this web servers okay so there's some static web pages and if you see some example apache is a web server okay and nginx is also a web server okay so all the web servers will deploy what normal static web pages okay and if you see its default port for this web server some 80 port 80 okay and if you see its default path deployment path for this var ww html was default path for this deployment path var ww HTML and if you go for app servers it can deploy both static and dynamic pages static and dynamic web pages okay if you go for the static like I said right dot HTML files uh, dynamic pages like dot uh, var files okay you can deploy both html or var files in our app servers see some examples like uh, uh, tomcat tomcat is there right and you have some uh, jboss okay web logic web sphere okay. so we have different app servers and see default port for tomcat default port for tomcat is 80 so 80 it is for tomcat okay and one more thing default path default deployment path is where live tomcat web apps see this one here we have different servers like web servers and app servers okay 
So web self for, for what? To deploy static web pages. Okay. And go for app servers. It is for deploy both static and dynamic web pages, like both HTML and var files. Okay. And if you see this, here we have some packages like Apache, uh, web servers like Apache, Nginx, all those things. And for the web server, default port is 80. Okay. And default deployment path is what? Var www HTML. But go for app servers, and so we have seen some examples like Tomcat, JBoss, WebLogic, WebSphere, and so on. Okay. And if you see this port here, uh, 8080 port for it's default port for uh, it's Tomcat, and deployment path var lib Tomcat web apps. Okay. So like this, uh, we can have some different uh, ports and path. Okay. For this web servers and app servers. Then, then how to install these packages? Okay, you can see now. I'll just show this process. It's clear for you. What is web and app? I'll just go this. See this one. Um, no, but it's the same points here. You're seeing the same things. Uh, static pages like HTML files. I've seen some example like uh, Apache Nginx default port 80. I said default deployment path is what? Var www HTML, right? And go for this app servers. So what is it? Um, if you want for both static and dynamic web pages like VARs, JARs, okay. we have seen some example like Tomcat, WebLogic, JBoss, WebSphere. And default port for Tomcat is what 8080. Here, deployment paths will differ here. Uh, for Red Hat machine, you can see the path like var lib Tomcat web apps. For the boot machines, it's a var lib Tomcat 7 web apps. Okay, so depends on the machine, this packet and uh, deployment path will vary, will change. Okay, so let us see how to install these packages. Okay, you can just see this one. Just show this process for you. Uh, it is Ubuntu machine, right? So to install this package, I said app to get install package Apache. Apache 2 is a package. Okay. You said that Apache is a web server. Okay. So you can use the package like Apache 2. Apache 2 hyphen Y. So Apache 2 is going to install. Then how to confirm this is installed or not? You can see your ports here. Uh, next at hyphen LNTP. Can you see a port 80? Right. So port 80 is open here. I'll do one thing. I'll get this uh, node IP address. I'll get this IP. Can you see here? It's Apache, Apache installed. Okay. Uh, let me install the same package for a CentOS machine. Okay. CentOS machine. But in CentOS, the package will change. Okay. I said right in CentOS, we'll use M installation. Okay. So M install HTTPD. M install what? HTTPD package. Said hyphen Y. Okay. Yeah, HTTPD is also a web server, but only the package name will differ. Okay. So let me install this HTTPD. Okay. So it's done. Then how to confirm this? Next start hyphen LNTP. If you want to see the ports, you can use this one. Did you find any port like 80? No, no, right? That is package installed, but the service is not started. OK, 
okay so if service is not started then we have to start the service manually okay so up to now what we discussed like uh, how to install packages for red hat and ubuntu machines i said for ubuntu machine what is the right app to get install patch it to for web servers for red hat machines how to install packages i said yum install httpd okay so one is patch it to for ubuntu and httpd for red hat but thing is what service is not started we have to start service okay if it is ubuntu command we can manage the services to manage the services using command what service service uh, which service you want to start which service you want to manage you just specify here so i want to manage my apache service apache service is already started if you want to stop make it stop is going to stop so service is a command which can start your services which can manage your services okay uh, let me start the service again i said start okay so either you can start or stop this services the command word service okay service command and if we go for this centos machine we have to use some different command here okay have different command like uh, system ctl system ctl start service uh, in my service is word httpd service httpd you can start here okay can you see this service is started okay then how to confirm this service start or not you can just go for this net start hyphen rgp earlier we don't have port 80 right now you can see port 80 okay so let me use this command see this one for ubuntu machines how will many services you can use service command for red hat machines how to many services you can use what system ctl command okay you can just verify this here i said the current machine is what centos 7 machine okay so for centos 7 machine we have to use system ctl okay and this start like if you want to start it just specify start name of this package if you want to stop it you can just specify same thing okay fine i think service is started i'll get this uh, i'll go to browser i get this node ip address i get my node ip address so can you see this one so pages are there fine but question is how to deploy applications fine we installed one is like apache we installed and we installed this uh, httpd fine but how deploy files here i'll discuss here we have some default deployment paths okay the deployment path i said here var www html right i'll just go to this path var www html okay so here let me create a new file here so vi index.html okay i'll just try to think the like hello from httpd web server hello from httpd web server okay so message in this uh, node to it is i'll go for ubuntu node i'll go to the same path i'll go to same path what is the deployment path i said cd var www html right so here only one file is there i'll just do one thing i'll remove this file I'll remove it. I'll create one more file. So index.html. 
alert some message here. It's a good day from Apache web server. Good day from what? Apache web server. Okay. And just save. So it has a two different files here. Okay. okay. Deployed. Uh, a file is in Ubuntu machine. One, one more file is in CentOS machine. Right? I'll just go to browser. I'll refresh it. Can you see this one? Hello from HTTP web server. It is a CentOS machine, right? And here, refresh it. You can see some good day from Apache web server. Okay. So we are uh, installed uh, a web server for both Ubuntu machine and even CentOS machine. Okay. Fine. It's about a web server. But how to install app server? You can just see now. So if you want to install app servers, I'll discuss this app servers for, for what? To deploy both static and dynamic web pages. Okay. To install it, you can use a command like uh, yum, yum install Tomcat. Okay. It is for Red Hat machines. And for Ubuntu machines, the package is Tomcat 7. Tomcat 7 is a package for both machines. Okay. I'll just show this process for you. See, current one is CentOS machine, right? How to install this package? I said, yum install Tomcat. But actually, Tomcat requires uh, some prerequisites like Java. It need Java. Okay, already we installed Java. If not, again, Java to install. No issues. Okay, so m install Tomcat. Now, Tomcat is going to install. Okay, fine. Let me do this. So once Tomcat is installed, you can just verify this port. Next at hyphen LNTP. Have you seen any port like 8080? No, right? That is Tomcat port is not started. Okay, Tomcat server is not started. But how you install Tomcat? The command yum. Yum install Tomcat. Right? Fine. Tomcat installed, but service is not started. I'll go to my Node 1, Ubuntu machine. So in Node 1, how to install packages? App ticket install. Tomcat 7. Tomcat 7 is a package. Name of this package. Okay. So Tomcat 7 is going to install. Fine. And how to see the ports? Next start hyphen LNTP. To define the port 8080 Tomcat port. That's right. Okay. And if you want to many of the services, you can use a command service Tomcat 7 start. It's already started, so let me stop it. It's going to stop it. Okay. If you want to start again, you just specify it. start. Service so is going to start. Same thing like for CentOS machine. I will just specify. Actually, service is not started, right? Let me start service. Here, what's the command you have to use? I said system CTL. System CTL. Start Tomcat. So here service will start here. Okay. Service is started. And then how to confirm this? Net stat hyphen LNTP. Can you see the port 88? So service is started. You can also use this command like uh, grep. Suppose I want to check all my running process, I'll use PS hyphen EF. Okay, this command will show us all process for us. Uh, here I want to search for grep for 
uh, Tomcat. It shows only Tomcat process. Can you see this Tomcat process? So ps hyphen ef command will show all process for us. But here we are searching for what? Actually, grep is a command to search, to search for a specific string pattern. Here, what I'm searching here? Tomcat. Yes, Tomcat is there, right? So we have this Tomcat in our current machine. So what's the process here? For Red Hat machines, how to install this Tomcat? Yum install Tomcat. And how can you manage Tomcat? Through system CTL. You can manage it. Okay. And if you want to search for it, yes, you can search with a command like ps, ps ef. This command will list all process for you, but you are searching for Tomcat or Java process something. Okay. For Ubuntu machine, you have to use what? Apt-get. Apt-get install Tomcat. So practice all these commands for, for the session, okay? Uh, in next session, we'll see like how to manage all these servers in our uh, tools, in DevOps tools, okay? Uh, so after we discuss some basic Linux commands, okay? Just practice all the things. Okay, so any queries up to now? Yes. Which one is important for us? The vision sense like Red Hat or Ubuntu. Actually, as a DevOps engineer, you have to work in different platforms. Okay? So we need both. So we have to practice both, right? Fine, fine. Uh, I can just contact the office for the sessions, all the things, okay? Just a command for practice. Yes, you have to practice it. Yes, yes. Okay. Fine. So you just go for this all these basic commands at first. Okay. So then we can just move to DevOps. You can see one by one, two. Okay. Fine, fine. Thank you. Yeah, I said right. You can just uh, get this one. Yeah, next class. Yeah, actually, um, there's no class on tomorrow. Okay, again, you have class on Monday. So on Monday, we'll see this session, okay? So next class on Monday, yes, yes. Yes, on Monday. So tomorrow, no class for you. Tomorrow on Sunday, no class. Next class on Monday. Right, right. Right, thank you. Fine, let me close the session here. So on tomorrow, uh, next class, we will see, like, how to use these things, these servers in our uh, DevOps tools. You can see on the next class, right? Right, thank you. Let me close the session. I think you may get it. You can just ask him in the office here. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, system CTL is if you want to start service, if you want to enable service, you can use this one. Okay. So to enable this Tomcat service, okay. I'm using the command like system CTL, uh, this command. System CTL. Enable Tomcat. I'm using this one. Okay. Fine. Fine. Let me close the session for this. Okay. We'll see you on Monday again. Thank you.